All right, here we go. Dagger Kayaks Code, Piranha Kayak Scort, side by side comparison. I've had this question asked to me a thousand times. I'm gonna show you guys kind of a side by side comparison of these two. Looking at the stern rocker, you can kind of see the difference in the stern there, the rim height on the Piranha Scorch. You guys can go back and watch my walkthroughs if you, I'll throw the specs up, I'll throw the specs of the Scorch over here and the code over here so I'll have two different specs up. You guys can kind of compare the specs. This is the medium on both sides, in both sizes of these, this is the medium. These boats paddle drastically different. I'm gonna do laps in both of them today and do the exact same lines and let you guys compare. So stay tuned to the end of this. Go ahead and watch this video all the way through because I will be doing laps in them where I can kind of compare. Let me roll these over. Look at that volume back here. See that difference in the volume? Wave deflectors up here. It looks to be a little flatter and a little wider so you're wider and flatter on the the scorch where with the you're a little more narrow with no wave deflectors there's that ripper style edge running down through there and that tucked away edge of this and what i had found this edge right here is beautiful for southeast style rocks of sliding off rocks this one catches up just a little bit anybody that's paddling like lower volume stuff you're gonna love the way this edge performs right there where this edge kind of grabs a little bit both of them are amazing for just skimming out of drops equally a little more width in the tail back here and once again that harder edge that runs right here on the scorch you can see it's slightly it's not like super wide but it's wide enough both of these boats perform extremely well the code definitely has the the department and the outfitting but you know what no shame on piranha because dagger whips everybody's ass in outfitting department so take that for what it is yeah so you can kind of see both of them have pretty flat hull that's just where it's been sitting on my racks right there safety wise i give them a tie as far as safety they're both very safe boats they both have step out pillars dagger step out pillars just a little better because it's recessed in big wide bulkheads in the piranha good nice security bar attachments warranty and plastic it's about the same on both of them i've been really impressed with both of these companies as far as warranty and taking care of your um taking care of the paddler width wise that's a it's a longer cockpit and this is a wider cockpit colors piranha definitely has the the department and colors i like piranha's colors but i like how they do this kind of this fade on the sides instead of that river or this paintball splattered thing right here this cosmos color not a fan of it but hey it works i get it roto molded seat they use a track system in theirs so piranha uses like a track right here with a roller molded seat, but it's it's taped down, it's very stiff. I trust these boats a lot. Piranha does a very good job on strength of their outfitting. Their back band, they could use some improvement on their back band here and their, their hip pads, but it all works. You know, I'm not gonna harp on that because it all works just fine. Thousands of people have been using this outfitting, so I get it. I don't know what else I could go over. You can see that the rocker's a little higher on the code than it is the scorch bow rocker basically my description of which one should you get if you if you like that flowy down river skipping out of things big volume top stuff with some creaking mixed in go with the scorch they fit exactly the same by the way they're both mediums and they size very well if you like that manky rocky style stuff where you're not don't need a hard edge to like those flare top booths go with the code i think you'll be happy with the code in the long run if you're on like lower volume stuff but don't get me wrong both of these can do both really well so i can creak and do creaky type stuff i have done some creak runs in the scorch and it handled beautifully it's just that rail will hang up on rocks from time to time where there's no there's no rail on the code so you don't really have to worry the rail on the code is tucked in low right here so this rail stays out of play until you lean it over on its edge. Now, with the Scorch, you don't need to lean it very far to engage that rail. So you don't have to lean over very far to engage that rail. Initial stability, code all the way. It's very wide up here, and the initial stability, you'll set down in it, and you feel like you're in a, it doesn't feel like it wants to flip. But when you do get it on edge, it will pile here and take you down. 
where the initial stability is still really good on the code. It's just that it's a little more narrow and it's a little, it doesn't feel like it wants to flip until you get it way over on edge. It kind of rounds off here off of that edge. So if primary stability is what you're after, go with the code. Secondary leaning top um, abilities, go with the scorch. That's pretty much my little quick walkthrough of the boats right here out of the water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get in the river and you can kind of compare them as I'm paddling down river. I'm gonna take the exact same lines. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. All right, this lap's gonna be just down river fastish. I'm not gonna be hammering super hard. I might hammer a little bit in spots. So the videos will start together at those trees. When I pass by that tree, the scorch will come up on the right the code will stay on the left. See how these two kind of go together. I don't know how this is gonna fly, so this will be interesting. But yeah, so I'm just gonna paddle fastest. Now there are rafts in the way. All right, here we go. So right when we hit the tree. I'm not blowing my gas tank out. But this one seems to track a little better. I'm going to try to stay in the flow of all of Not fast, but predictable. But still really cool. Ah. More, you need more timing on your stroke. Seemed like I needed to time my strokes a little better than the code. Less likely to take care of a lazy pilot. A boat like this will not take care of a lazy pilot. If you're not charging, pulling those strokes at the right time, oh, this coach is going to let you know. Woo! It's fun. That edge will find itself at times. I didn't have the cleanest of lines either, walking back up like that. We're still eddy for eddy. Not bad. See the 
edge is a little tough, but you can't get it. Whoa, I'm going to try to hit as many of the holes in it. There is a, a little angle booth here. I'm going to try it. That went smooth. That's what the code does. Smoothly off those. That is a little edge right, right here. That. I think there's a booth to be had right here. A little slower to get off the booth. Woo! Let's go. Watch out for the difference in these bows. They both need this cone. You don't have to get this like an active blade off. in the water. Gotta have a hard lean to engage the edge. Takes care of you. Nice. All right, that's it, everybody. I don't know if there's a clear winner, Scorch versus the code. I did the best I could to compare them. Not the easiest thing to hit the exact same line every time. I don't paddle up here enough to know the river exactly the same every time. 
yeah so you guys leave in the comments below what you think is the boat that more suits you i think the the scorch is a little edgier from edge to edge that thing whips into eddies and that that edge will let you know that it's there if you if you're not careful the code a little more forgiving it didn't like perform until you got it up about right there when you got this thing about right there then you really opened up that edge for the code the scorch it was like you almost had to just be about like that kind of crazy the difference in style of the way these boats paddle they might look a little similar to some people but i can tell you everybody they're drastically different if you get a chance demo both of them because you will it's a style it's it's definitely a style thing right now i i can't i can't give you a clear winner of which one i would choose i like them both out here i think i like the scorch better on the olympic course i like the way the scorch was whipping in and out of eddies i love how i could get on that rail and go a little better the code was extremely fun too they both go through holes like nobody's business this thing they both just amazing so i don't think you can go wrong with either one but yeah thanks a lot everybody thanks for watching and i will uh catch you guys next time Woo.